Daniel stuck his neck out on the line, um, refused to stand down. I mean, to some that's probably not a good thing, to some that's a great thing. Um, he stood up for his rights and, and what he thought was right. And I, I want to applaud him personally for that. And we're here to support him and show him that he's not alone in exercising our gun rights in Texas. What we're not here for is, again, to thankfully, to protest Harlingen Police Department. Um, we, I've had several conversations with uh, Sergeant David. I, I could keep calling him Sergeant David because I always forget his last name, but I call him David. Osborne, there you go. Thank you. Uh, I, I've had numerous conversations with Sergeant Osborne over the past few weeks since Daniel's arrest. Uh, I, I've emailed back and forth and those kinds of things. Um, he's, they're, they're on board with us, okay? What we ask for, for, and this is pretty much what we ask all across the, the state. If you guys are going to go out and do an open carry walk, you're just going to go out on your own, you're going to go out in a group, whatever. We always encourage you to call the police department, the non-emergency line. If you don't know what the non-emergency line is, call 911 and just ask them to transfer you. But, but call the non-emergency line, let them know, hey, uh, I'm going to be openly carrying, according to Texas law, I'm going to be in this general area. I just wanted to let you guys know in case you got phone calls. Um, one, of the mis one of the miscommunications that happened is that phone call that was made just wasn't forwarded to the right people. And, and that's why uh, one of the things that led to what happened with Daniel here. So uh, we're, we're not here to, we're, we're also here to show that an armed society is a polite society. I guarantee you, virtually guarantee you, I've never been down to South Texas before, but, uh, but I can virtually guarantee you that this is probably the safest police department in the state of Texas right now. Because anybody that wanted to come by here and, and cause problems is going to see that we're an armed populace. And that's what we want in the state of Texas. We want criminals, uh, the agents provocateur, the, the guys that are actually committing real crimes, that are hurting people, that are stealing from people. Uh, we want them to see that we're not going to stand by. We shouldn't have to hide our guns. Last year when I got back from Afghanistan, uh, I took my family on a trip to a bunch of national parks around the west, uh, western states. And as soon as I left the state, I was able to carry my Kimber 45 openly everywhere I went. I went through seven different states, every national park I was allowed to carry in. And then I got back to Texas and I had to hide my gun like I was ashamed of it. We shouldn't be ashamed of our guns here in Texas. And so we're fighting really hard uh, with groups like Katy, Texas, Open Carry Texas, Texas Carry and others. Uh, we're trying to get open carry passed. And so what, the way we do that, if we can get people used to seeing what we see right here, carrying open, open long arms, uh, black powder revolvers, the way that we can legally carry them now, um, then they can get used to seeing uh, a Glock or an XD40 or, or whatever it is that your, your pistol of choice um, on, your, on your waistband. So there's that. Um, also, we want to. We, we always encourage safety at these events. Um, we do. We do have. What's that? No, it's barrel. Barrel flag. Uh, so if you've got a barrel flag, or if you got your, your chamber, we're trying to ask that uh, you guys don't have anything chambered. That's just a request from us. If you want a chamber flag, uh, it's either a straw or, or some some identifier that shows that there's nothing in the barrel. Um, there's no problem having a magazine. And the, and the weapon, we just ask that you don't keep it loaded up as far as around in the chamber. I promise you, you won't need that. Courtesy and mutual respect, um, again, why we're not here is to antagonize the police officers. They're working with us here. They made this possible. They, they, they're, well, okay. They didn't really have a choice, but, but they're allowing us to be here. Uh, we, we didn't have, yeah, they're accommodating. We didn't have to basically take it by force. Uh, they, these guys are great guys. Uh, I support them and what they're doing. So please, uh, you know, have mutual respect. It's okay to engage in, in good discussion and conversation, but I bet you're going to find that uh, they're more along our lines than anything else. And, and let me tell you really quick about uh, Open Carry Texas.